Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman and welcome to another episode of the Night Garden. And as you can see, we're in our old base, or our main base, but only briefly. We are ready for travelling. We've got a ton of torches, repaired most of our weapons and tools to a decent state, got a few speed potions. So, we're off. Oh, it must have been that that was a dying skeleton, so we had a spider jockey in there. We worked that out a long while ago. Glitch. Little purple portal glitch. You can just see one of the one of the segments. Right, so we have emptied our ender chest apart from a couple of minor pieces. We don't well take the anvil out and mug, I don't really need to be in there. I can go in there with the rest of the ender chest contents for now. And here we have in our nether a new tunnel. Welcome to 1.7. So let's walk and talk. I tried doing this over the overland a couple of weeks ago, recorded an episode of Let's Go and Generate New Terrain and went about 6,000 blocks in one direction, about 4,000 in another. Only thing I found of new was a roofed forest. Got about two and a half hours of uneditable footage with me running out of things to say. So plan B was last night I dug this tunnel a thousand blocks long and starting at 200 blocks <coughs> For every hundred blocks, we have a portal. So this one, as you saw by the label, is a desert. All I've done is popped in and checked the biome. So this is a desert, and this is the furthest I went in any biome. I went to the top of that hill, as you'll probably see in a minute. Because you'll see there's a cobblestone spire I put on there, so I weren't sure how far I was going to go. I want to be able to find my way back to the portal because my sense of direction as you probably know if you follow my channel is pretty poor so there is our essentially a small beacon and I just came up here to see if we had anything interesting like a village which we didn't or a jungle temple which we didn't and I don't know what's over there, it looks like a slight biome change unless that is just the old river biome that sometimes intercepts. We'll find out in a minute what we got here then, yeah, so we are just desert. So we're obviously hoping to find somewhere nice and new. Now, is that a desert? Is this a river? Desert. I bet you it's a river somewhere. Yeah, river. There you go. I have played this game before. Now we're looking for somewhere new. Now normally, you know me, I wouldn't bother about anywhere new. I just dig a hole, find a spawner, and then we set up camp around a spawner and raid the spawner for all the XP and all the goodness it's got as we build. Right, so this is desert basically and without going too far which I don't really want to do in this episode we've got plenty of time for exploring as this is not a new biome or not anywhere I'm particularly keen on building we'll probably use this as our quarry and have endless amounts of stained glass that's what this will be good for so I'll probably meet you back at the Portal, especially since I've got a cup of coffee sit here going cold. I doubt anything interesting will happen between here and there in broad daylight, and we'll have a look at the next biome I've found. So here we have desert and roofed forest. And I just have to go back to the base and get a bed because we're bound to pop into one of these at night time by the time we've finished them all. So, roof forest on this tiny little island that I did light up. And desert. 
and some other sort of forest over there. So we are get a pen because I need to do this. I should have done it off camera. Oh, get a pen that works. Yep. Remember to put the negatives down. Right, that'll do for that, because I would like to actually go and have a little bit of a wander here. So let's go and have a look at this roofed forest. Seeing this is new. Get our axe at the ready. I have had a little bit of this dark wood on my first visit, mainly because I'd run out of torches. Funnily enough, I didn't get it for the saplings or for any other reason. I thought I'd run out of torches. I need some wood. Right, so a roofed forest means we should be able to skip across the top here, like so. And we have giant mushrooms in the wild, which I'm not that excited about. Other than the timber, I'm not actually that excited about this biome. I don't want to sound like an old grouch, but I can't... If you wanted to build in one of these, you're probably going to level most of it and um, unless you want to live in the rooftops and if I want to live in the rooftops I'd probably prefer to live in a jungle and, you know why would you want to live in the rooftops and only be five or six blocks off the ground there you go so let's have one of these down and see if we can get some saplings because it is a nice looking timber I wouldn't want to raid the whole biome, not without replanting. I'm guessing that if you plant four of these in a square, they will grow a f two by two, the same as a jungle tree does. I don't know, that's something we'll have to find out. Don't know if we'll find out this episode or not. Dark oak sapling, so they have their own sapling, that's good to know. Let's take another one of these down while that despawns, just to increase our chances of getting four saplings because I would like to test the theory that these will grow a two by two tree with four planted. So as I was saying before I've always just dug a hole, found a spawner and we live underground which is which is easy to do, or not easy to do, but easy to decorate, should I say. Easy to make look nicer, I think it is. But I've built all the machines I need in Minecraft, and I've trapped nearly every mob in the game, and farmed it, and farmed nearly every resource in the game. Here's our Creeper XP. I have an Ender End, I have a Blaze Farm, I have perfect villagers to trade us all the iron and diamond tools and armour we need. So we're at a point now where some people would say we'll restart a new world. Well that's not what I want to do because I've spent so much time getting all that stuff together. Why would I want to get rid of it now? So I'm possibly, well say possibly, I've sort of got it in my mind that I'm going to find a nice area to build and maybe build purely for the sake of building. Let's see what sort of builder Mad Marshman is. I've already got all the infrastructure in place. If I, if I want any tools or weapons or armour, I could just go to the swamp and swap them for sugar cane. Food, we've got unlimited food, we've got everything we need. So I think I'm just going to have a go at being a builder for a little while. Right, we haven't got any of these, so we'll have some of these. And what are you? Peony? Is that how you pronounce it? Am I picking them up? I am four of these. Now I'm under the impression, I believe, that you can bone meal these and farm them, which means we don't need to collect a huge amount. Yeah, correct, you can farm them. Lovely. They're clearly poppies. We don't want to stray too far in this episode because, as I say, I've put a portal every hundred blocks in the nether, which is, for those who know, every 800 blocks on the overworld, which is quite a nice separation. Worked out quite well. 
let's go and have a look in the next portal they're yellow flowers we know what they are yeah we will investigate more of these areas as and when we actually start playing proper wait where did I put the portals? I put the portals on my left and that's why I brought these mind you it doesn't really make much difference when you've only got to run 100 blocks that will help a little bit saves me cutting the the fill, mind you I should do really because I've got my cup of coffee still here, it's not quite cold yet lovely ghast, extreme hills, now I quite like the look of this now I know extreme hills is a old style biome but I think, I'm not sure if this is extreme hills plateau because there's quite large flat areas in between the hills so let's let's have a look, extreme hills, and does it turn into a plateau when we get on this flat bit or is it Extreme Hills Plus. Or has the plus sign always been there? I don't know. Right, it's getting dark. And we're going to lose the portal if we go running off too quickly. So this is minus three two four o oh, x I really have got a pen that doesn't work I'm not joking three two four o oh, x z minus twenty six and that's the extreme hills let's get our bed down complete waste of a speed potion I know it would be let me in make it lovely daytime I don't want to wake up there right so this is quite a nice looking area I can't work out why this is not, is it Extreme Hills Plus, is that the bit that makes it flat? no this is Extreme Hills not Extreme Hills Plus so there is a difference between the biomes Sorry, I hit F4 then instead of F3. I think I caught it quick enough not to make too much difference. More roofed forest. Pumpkins in the wild, that's nothing unusual. We've always had them. Got some plains over there. See, plains is always easy to build in because that's quite flat. I don't know if I want flat. Flat makes life easy, but not overly interesting. Can't see a village. See some new flowers, should really go and have a look, I suppose. I think I might be wearing my Respiration 3 helmet. It's like daylight nearly. Hello, pigs. Pigs are still pigs. Are these Oxyoi? Oxyoi Daisy? We'll have a few of them. For no other reason than they're new. Right, underwater caves, very nice. Right, let's. Yes, don't think we want the planes. Been there, done that. Like I said we have done the extreme hills before, but these extreme hills are a little bit different with the with the flat areas in between. Make them a bit more build, a bit more friendly for the building. Let's get up here where we can see again. Lots of animals. We've got no shortage of them here. That's a sure thing. Quite nice scenery. Yes. I don't know. I've got a plan in my head of what I'd like to build and I don't think a hilly area would suit it too well. Got snow up on the high points now. There's the portal. My sensor direction has not failed me totally this time. Yeah I'm sorta of liking the look of this, I don't know. 
Anyway, like I said, we're not here to explore everywhere today. I'm just going to show you what I've found in the immediate vicinity. Yes, um, we could definitely do something here, and we've got reasonable scenery around us. Plenty of wildlife. Whoops. Right back in. And I'll see you in the next one. Something new again for us to look at. Savannah. I think this app actually takes us into a cave. I meant to label it Savannah Cave, but... Yes. We are clearly in a cave. I've, as you can see, I've sissy barred it up. And... We have 60 blocks on us. Is it night time? Again, I thought I sorted that out. Huge amount of torches. Glitchy bed. Right, and up we go. Should have made a I did bring a ton of wood with me. Let's sort this out. We're gonna get creeped if we stand too close there. Alright. So I wonder if we brought a ton of wood or chopped a ton of wood when we got over a stack of dark wood. Right. See what that does for us. 48. I'm not sure how deep we are here. Oh, they're behind us. I heard them going down. So there you go, there's a trick. If you've got no blocks in front of you, place them behind you. I thought we'd be getting more light from the top here. That is clearly night time, even though the bed didn't let us sleep. Is it night time or has a tree grown behind us? Let's get some shift. That's gravel. How much of this is gravel? That might help a little. Not as much as that would have done. Oh, I may have blocked. I did block it clearly. Right, Savannah. I don't have any of these saplings. Again, we have lots of wildlife. I think this is a very interesting looking wood. We're going to have trouble with our inventory here. Right. I need to make this idiot proof. I am can be an idiot and lose my way very easily. Right, hopefully if it gets dark we we will not be lost. Drew Dollarhide has subscribed to you on YouTube has just flashed up on my screen from Thunderbird email client. Hello Drew Dollarhide. Welcome. As you can see we're in new terrain checking it out. Now this is interesting in its own way. We've got lots of hillside caves and a deep hole there with water to break your fall as you fall in there unexpectedly. We saw a, yeah, that's what we thought, start a home in here. So this is all fairly good looking. Reasonable shape terrain. With a few pits and a burnt zombie. And I want saplings which I'm probably not going to get as we get rid of that bottle. So we can farm a few of 
few of these things. These are just poppies, which were roses. Didn't really make that cobblestone too high grass here. We don't ignore that, but I'm sure you've all seen that if you've been watching anything on YouTube. We think we can create that, can we? Can we create two hall? Yes, we can. A zombie down there. So that savannah looks like that stretches quite a distance. Indeed. So we're not going to go a distance. Again, not today. Save that for another day. There, oh, I was going to say there's a spawner down there, but that's hard to tell now. With how social zombies are. You get one dark spot. They all group together and it sounds like a spawner. Caving is something we can look forward to now as well. We can just cave for fun now. We don't need iron because we've got an iron golem farm. And we can also trade. We don't even need iron from the iron golem farm anymore to be honest. We can just trade all the iron tools and stuff we need from our perfect villager. So there was our savannah. We're starting to get cluttered up here. So I think we are going to, yeah we might as well, beat that with our chicken. And we'll put an end to chest down and get rid of some of this stuff that we're not requiring on our travels. Don't need all these torches, I had 64 planks and 64 coal and crafted it basically wasn't really necessary four stacks of torches so what have we got next I don't know I know I crossed an ocean but crossed an ocean through the nether which is the intelligent way to do it so we got deep ocean which I believe is going to bring us out above yeah and it's night time now one little island over there, I remember that. I was praying to see if that was going to be land. That may even be, so I think that's the end of the visible chunk. We may have to jump in there and see if we can end a pearl back up or something. Mm, not for this episode, that could be. Mm, end a pearl and back up here. I don't know how high this is. No, I'm not going to do it today. Find enough blocks on me to get back up here. For definite, I'd give it a whirl. So I think we've got another one of those, and one where we end up in a cave in deep ocean, which I don't mind because that's instant resources. All right, deep ocean cave. Yes, yeah, so you don't really need to look at that. That's just a cave in deep ocean. Speaks for itself. Load in, please, nether. Is this going to be the last deep ocean? So this is at least three portals, so that's at least deep ocean, yeah. So that's at least 800 blocks per portal. So that's 2,400 blocks in the overworld, and we just covered that in less than a minute. So these are the joys of travelling through the nether. Not as pretty as travelling overland, but at least you get somewhere. Look at that. That is what everyone wants. Now we found one, I'm not sure. Looked quite small. I've not investigated it at all. I just stuck my head out the door. Right. Oh yeah, you're gonna come coming in quick, aren't they? Die immediately. Monster nearby. That's fairly near. Oh look, we've got Halloween still. I didn't weren't sure if they were gonna still be Halloweened up today and this Halloween was yesterday ah we're in I'm glad about that right so here is a mesa biome but quite a small one unless it continues very far over there I'm gonna go and have a look because everybody wants one of these because it's unlimited clay and there's some other things I want to test in these as well. 
Red sand. Does red sand make red glass? I'm sure you probably all know. But I don't. So we've got hardened clay directly under there. Right. Let's do a bit of field testing. We ain't done anything yet apart from wander about. I've got no coal on me at all. So I converted it all into torches. But we can afford to burn some timber for this experiment. Right, that should give us enough to see at least to get one piece of glass. Will it be red? Will it be red? No, it won't. Okay. Is that going to give us another one? No. Oh. Never mind. But at least we found something out. So, is this the world's smallest mesa biome I just found? And I'm running around everywhere. And I've got ender pearls and feather fallen four boots. Yeah, that's good. I might as well run if I'm going to throw them like that. Ah. We have not found the world's smallest mesa biome. We have found a reasonable one. That's a better throw. Use that tree to bounce off. So we don't go right over the island. Right, superb. We have found enough clay to last forever, basically. Right, so we're going to do some more field tests in a minute. So we've got Mesa and Desert, which is no surprise. Right, let's get down here again. There's our portal. So let's get back over to this bit of Mesa, seeing as that is Mesa. Mesa, Mesa, I don't care how you pronounce it. All I know is we've got enough clay there forever. Now, field test number two. How deep does the clay go in a Mesa biome? Does it go to bedrock? Or is it only a few layers? Alright, F3, we're Mesa, so we do not what fall in lava, so we'll do the old straddle two blocks trick. I'm sure you've all seen this. Ah, well that's, um, that's still a lot of clay, by anybody's standards. Now I wish I'd brought my flowers with me. Because what I wanted to know was, can you dye the clay that is already coloured? So you could even be nice to the environment here. And just hollow it out. Right, there's some flowers. Let's have a little experiment. Right, yellow dye. We have yellow dye, we have a crafting bench. Can we mix them up? Can we put... That's red. That is orange. That's basic. No. That is a shame. Right. What about if we just go and get some more red? I don't think that's going to let us... That's normal clay in it, so we'll go for the orange then. It's hard to tell with this stuff what the colour's meant to be. Ten orange. I just wanted eight the same colour, that's all. Right, I don't think that's going to work. I think, I mean, it doesn't really matter. No. So we can only stain the plain hardened clay. That's fair enough. It's going to be easy enough as it is, I think. 
and we've got mountains of clay, yeah there's our yellow clay right so I'm happy about that but then again the build and style I've got in mind for myself if I do do this creative thing which I think I'm gonna do by creative I don't mean creative mode I mean creative artistic creative I'm gonna try to um, I'm probably not going to be using much clay. Anyway, yes, that's plains over there. Clearly, we got more desert. Let's hop back in the portal because we can come back here. This is the whole point of all the portals; makes it very easy for travelling. So we now know that the clay does not go all the way to bedrock. We cannot stain clay that's already coloured and red glass, uh, red sand does not give red glass so this is the last portal and we hit a savanna again which makes sense as all the biomes now are supposed to stick together in their respective climates so we should get the hot climates biomes like savanna and desert and mesa spawn together I was in a hurry here, as you can see, because if you, the observant people amongst you will have noticed that I do this to my portals. Especially when I'm intending to build about ten portals, like I did last night, or eight, or whatever it turned out to be. Every time you build a portal and travel through, you gain four obsidian. If you do this, if you can be bothered, which you should really, Build two and a half portals, get one free. Every little helps. Alright, so we do that, or I do that. Light this up. So we got another savannah here. Surrounded by hills. So let's get these out again. That's what they're for. We're not going to get that far, but... That weren't a bad effort, we got nearly to the top. We we'll just want to see what's next. What can we see from up here? More savannah. It's a very hilly savannah. Savannah plateau. Very flat savannah down there, probably leading to an ocean. Now I wish I'd Optifine, because that looks very much like a portal over there, but shouldn't be. We didn't just come from that way at all. We come from this way. Hello, hole. More acacia trees, more cows. Oh, I know what we can do while we're here. There's our portal up a tree. Right. Oh no, we can't. We dropped our saplings off. I was then going to see if we could get our 4x4 four four dark oak tree up. That was superb. Look at that. I'm not even going to move. I'm just going to wobble in here. Right. So, I'm going to get our 4x4 four four saplings and we're going to test that before we end the episode. Here we are, back at our Extreme Hills Plus, is it? Extreme hills. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not so sure about... Uh, maybe. <laughs> anyway, the reason we're here is can you grow one of these dark oak trees? I would have thought so. If they give us the trouble to give us the saplings. Go, go, go. Yes, you can. Excellent. So there's probably quite a bit of timber in one of them trees. I think we chopped down two and got over a stack. I know what these are probably going to do, but we might as well while we're here. Just for the hell of it. Let's get some new trees. In our There we go. What do they look like? 
should be all crooked and wonky. That one is very strange indeed. So this is Mad Marshman with a pig, a couple of acacia trees and a large giant oak or dark oak. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.